Hello, we are back again with some more yoga for you. So today we have the energetic sequence. Okay, so we've done the calming, uh, we've done the confidence. So I've got an energetic one for you today. Okay, so this one's good for if you're feeling tired, uh, a little worn out um, and helping you become full of energy as well as having a good stretch. Okay, so if you've got five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, however long you wanna make it, okay, you can do it more than once. You can just do the once in the morning and then maybe again during the day. Okay, so this will help you be full of energy. So let's start with position one. Okay, so we've got the downwards dog. Okay, we have done this uh, before on another video. Um, so it's nice and easy, nice and simple. Again, you don't need anything uh, equipment wise. You don't need a yoga mat. You just need some space maybe uh, in your living room or your bedrooms or anything like that. Okay, so let's walk through this one together. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come down to our knees uh, and our hands are going to go nice and flat. Okay, so we want to put our hands a little bit further in front. Okay, then we're going to tuck our toes underneath and we're going to send our bottoms up to the sky, straightening those legs. And then we just going to look down at our feet and we're just going to breathe in and out for five breaths. So breathing in. Okay, so coming down, we just bring our knees to the floor and we're just sitting back like that. Okay, so it's really important that we have our hands flat uh, so we're not putting all the weight of our bodies onto those fingers. Okay, so we're having the weight distributed through the palms of our hands and keeps us nice and secure and safe. Okay, okay, so the next one we've got is the table. So again, staying on our hands and knees. Okay, this one, hands again just in front. So we want to keep the shoulder and the elbow and the wrist all in line uh, with our, uh, in the coordination there. Okay, and then the knees are again just under the hips and we want to keep that back nice and flat. Okay, so we don't want to go too arch. We don't want to be up here. We just want to keep it nice and flat. Okay, we're just going to stay here for a couple of breaths as well. And then you can come down. If, so you can see how that one links in with the downwards dog. Okay, so we want to be uh, up here, the downwards dog, and then down into the table here. Okay, so it's nice and sturdy, it's nice and supported. Uh, you want to imagine that if your hands are too close, is that table going to fall over? Okay, so have your hands uh, again in line with your shoulders and your knees in line with your hips. Okay. So from the table, we are then going to move into the cobra. So again, it falls nicely uh, in line with our uh, sequence. So we want to be lying on the floor on our bellies. Okay, hands underneath our shoulders and we're pushing up, keeping the hands nice and straight. And we want to just, instead of doing this and sitting in our shoulders, okay, we want to really come up, pull up that neck, stretch that back, pull up your um, stomach muscles. And again, if you try and keep your legs nice and straight as well. Okay, and you should feel that stretch just through your tummy muscles there. Okay, so again, stay in there for a couple of breaths um, when we do the sequence again. Okay, so from cobra uh, or the snake pose, you can lie down again on, so we're gonna stay on our bellies. Okay, this one is called a uh, crystal basket. Okay, so we're just gonna take one hand and we're going to get our shoe or our foot, okay, and we're just going to hold that nice and secure. Then we're going to lie down again, and if you can, get the other side of our foot, okay, you're just going to lie in this position, okay, and then if you want to, you can bring these up, so your knees come up off the floor, and your chest come up the floor, and you're going to hold it there for a couple of breaths as well. And coming back down and down. Good. 
okay. So the next one we have is the lion pose. So you want to be in the center from wherever you are. Okay, so you want to be, if you've got a mat, you want to be in the center of the mat. And if you can bring your knees slightly apart a little bit. You want to be sat on your heels. Okay, so you don't want to be like this. You want to be on your heels. Okay, so you sit on those. From here, you're going to put one hand in front uh, in between your legs and the other one there as well. From here, you're going to take a nice deep breath in. And then when we breathe out, you're going to roar like a lion. Okay, now if you've got to be a little bit quiet because maybe all mums and dads are working uh, or anything like that, then you can whisper a roar. So I'm going to whisper a roar for you, okay? And you're going to obviously breathe in. And then we go. Again, breathing in. Breathing in. Good, okay, and that's our lion roar. If nobody's in or they don't mind uh, a lot of noise, then you can really roar, okay, really go for it. It's really good uh, for releasing stress or anxiety or um, frustration as well. Okay, so have fun with that. Be as loud as you want or if you need to be quiet, then you can be quiet. Okay, so have a go. And the final pose for our um, energetic sequence this morning, we're just going to sit in our Namaste pose. So it's legs crossed, hands together at centre, and you're going to close your eyes. You're going to take a nice deep breath in and out. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. And then what we'll do now is we'll put them all together um, and again like I said you maybe want to do it once or twice or three times it's completely up to you but we'll do it nice and slow uh, just so everybody then can follow and then you understand how we can use our breaths as well so let's do it all together okay so let's start with the downward star so again hands nice and flat looking at toes bending the bottom up to the sky holding it there for a few breaths And then coming down into the table, so hands apart, knees apart, making sure we're nice and round, keeping that back nice and straight. So just looking at the floor, taking again a few breaths. Okay, extending the legs out, lying on the floor. And then we can push up into snake or cobra, pushing right up. Again, making sure we're not bringing those shoulders up, so push those shoulders down. And lying down again on the floor into crystal basket. And then into lion, coming up with knees, hands one on top of the other, breathing in. And then finally into namaste. Okay, so hands, closing the eyes. And there we go. Okay, so that's again a nice little easy flow for you to do maybe first thing in the morning or when you're starting to feel a little tired. Uh, so have a go at that, let me know how you get on and we'll be back very soon with some more yoga for you. So have fun and enjoy.